Ja. Kidnappers or assassins? Been following me all day. I had to shake them off. They've got to be kidnappers or assassins. <laughs> no, 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 Princess. I, I, I don't think they're kidnappers or assassins. How do you know? Because if they were, they would have shot at you. You, you think so? Yeah. I mean, um, you know. Come to think of it, I think these um, this boys that have been following you, I think they're your father's boys. Supposedly his hitmen, you know? What? Yeah, yeah. I, I think they, they want to like get some information for him. <laughs> no, I mean, information. Mm -hmm. What kind of information? Information about me. Or, or about whether you've been seen all this while, you know? <laughs> no, my, my father would never do that. Trust me. That's exactly what it is. I'm no more safe. No, no, you, you are safe. You are, okay? I'm going to ask him to order them to stop. No, 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 you will do no such thing, please. If you try that, you're going to make things worse, okay? So, what do we do? What do? Uh, I don't know, just, uh, just have to think of something, you know? Just, uh, yeah, think of something, you know? Yeah. Don't you think you should outgrow the past? That we live together in the palace means nothing. Can't you just begin to appreciate the woman in me? What is it? Aren't I pretty enough? <laughs> no. Uh, no, 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 princess. I... I thought we, um... We went over this before and we, um, we settled it. We settled nothing. You just succeeded in avoiding me the way you're trying to do now. No, no, Princess, I'm not... I'm not, not trying to avoid you. you. You're a very beautiful woman. You, you are, you know. <laughs> you're very sensual. It's just that, um... um... Hey, you, you, you never told me about your parents. I mean, how are they? How are they? Don't ask me about my parents. You are trying to change the subject. Look, I, I just don't want you to feel bad. You are a very beautiful woman, very sensual, okay? It's just that, um, you, you know, you, you just came telling me about some assassins, kidnappers and all of that. Your father's supposedly hitmen. And that actually, you know, um, it's affected my, uh, my sex, 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 sexuality, you know, and my mind. My, my libido, if you um, know what I mean. I do understand. Thanks. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I should be the one to be sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop rigmaroling and tell me exactly what you want to tell me? Sir, we're very sorry, sir. It's just that we lost her at the early road. So that as we are coming the street searching for our car, we saw her come from Jesus saves. But at this time, she was having her. It's a show that's What nonsense story are you trying to tell me? Huh? This girl barely knows the metropolis. How could you lose sight of her? Well, you must try harder next time. After all, 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 all I just need is a particular house she visits. Huh? Now, are you reassuring me that you know exactly where to look for her when next you lose sight of her? Yes, exactly, sir. Yes. You know where and how to get us. Good. 
good. Now you go back and continue from where you stopped. This time I need results. You'll get one, sir. I'm a good one. Better luck. This thing is getting intriguing. Huh? DL Road. Jesus saves. I mean, I mean, who on earth is the princess seeing there? She don't do just so. No. Her luck has run out of her. As it is now, I won't let her off my horizon. Well, now, wow. Wow, God, we could follow this girl everywhere she go. We could follow and follow and we could know who she visit and who she no visit. This guy won't. I understand. don't know, I don't know, and I really don't want to know. I'm just carrying out my orders, and that's it. This guy order now, wow. Oh, God, won't marry the girl, sir. See, guess of nowadays, eh, they know they follow one man. And look at your wife. Yeah. Can you please shut up and concentrate? Okay.
and the black golf, they're following me again. What? Really? Yes. Did, did, did they follow you to the hotel? I don't know. I've not been able to shake them off. My God, what is going on? Ah, I was just on my way downstairs to go order some food because my intercom is bad. So, hey, just give me the keys. I need to, I need to lie down. Sure, sure. Here you are. Uh, do you want some food? No, no, I'm fine. I'm just no. frightened. Great. Great. Uh, just don't worry, I'll just make sure I try and go outside and look out for the stalkers. You be careful. Okay? You, you just go and rest there. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Um, what are you guys doing here? Are you waiting for someone or something? What business of yours is it, is it either way? Well, a friend of mine just called me and told me that uh, he sent two friends of his to come check up on me and they'll be waiting outside here in a black golf and that, uh, uh, this situation kind of like in syncs with that, wouldn't you agree? Sorry, friend, we are not the people you are expecting. Oh, very well. Okay, then. I'll just go back into the hotel and uh, inform the security. Or probably call the cops, right? The cops? Yes. <laughs> I believe that will be your best bet. Okay. Thank you, then. Okay. Hey, also, if you, if you happen to um, see these two guys that I described, can you inform the security man in there? And he will inform me immediately. Okay? Exactly. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Bombo clad. That's a smart one. So what do you think we do? Oh boy, this guy just came to let us know that he's the one that the princess has been seeing. Ah! You were right. You were right. What do you think? Maybe we should just nod his head. No. That would be necessary. I have an impeccable picture of him in my mind. That would be enough for the boss. Yes, I did. And they were so unfazed even when I threatened them with the police. What? Yes. Jimmy? Oh. They are out there waiting for me. Exactly. Oh. That means I have to call my father. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you won't do such a thing. You're just going to make everything worse by doing that. So, what are we going to do? Just give me some time and stop lamenting. Let me think. I can't stop lamenting, Gerald. You have all the time in the world. Tell me what it is we're going to do. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Just relax. Calm down, okay? Can't calm down? Calm down. Just relax, okay? Uh, well, yeah, and one more thing. Rest assured, you're not going back home today, okay? Meaning? Um... You want me to sleep over? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Gerald, what? you want to sleep with me, up rather, you want to make love to me, and you don't know how to tell me, but you can say it, I uh, don't uh, understand. Oh, no, 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 not that at all. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not gonna sleep in the same room with you. I'm just gonna go down, meet the receptionist, and let them reserve another room. That's what it is. Mm -mm. That's why. Mm -mm. Come on. But no. What's the essence of sleeping over if you are going to take another room? <laughs> Princess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slow down. Uh, um. You know. Does the boy you talk about look anything like this? Ah. 
the guy now. Really? Is he? Let the guy be this now. Very good. Very good. You have done an excellent job. Yeah. You've done a wonderful job. Hi. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I ask you to follow that girl for entirely a different motive. But now, it seems it has paid off. Doubly. For I've been looking for this young man for some time now. Privately. Oh my God. That's a wonderful job. A nice job, boss. Yes. Don't you think we pay that little bastard a visit? You know, torture him a little bit, as a, you know, torture him kind of. You know, help the princess romance him a little. Now listen to me. Listen to me real good. If anything happens to him, I will hold two of you responsible. In fact, do not venture near that hotel any longer. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? You want to spoil the good work you have already done. <laughs> no, 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 you come back, boys. Come on, come on, come on. You did a nice job, you have gladdened my heart. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you know, my boss once taught me that failure to reward excellence is another way of encouraging mediocrity. <laughs> so you go and make yourself comfortable with some beer and um, only God knows what. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Thank no, you don't worry. You have a nice day, boy. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Ooh. Mm. Oh my God! No, this young department isn't messing themselves up with suit. I don't care. I have some work to do. I have more jobs. To Bida, dili bida kubahi, andili kubida, dili bida kubahi, andili kubida, dili bida kubahi, andili kubida, dili bida kubahi.
When did you notice this? Yesterday. Listen, you can't be pregnant, all right? You need a doctor to run some tests on you before, or well, you know, you can confirm it. You just can't say you're pregnant. Think. I haven't thought of anything yet. I want you to tell me what a woman's pant is doing in your room and who owns it. Hmm. This, is a, this is a mistake, I'm sure. It must be a mix-up. A mix-up? <laughs> Don't you think it's an interesting mix-up? That I found a woman's pant in your room? Oh. How wrong I was to think that this would never happen to me. Now it's happening right under my nose. Kuchendo, what is going on? I'll ask you that question. What are you doing in my room? Because I can't remember ever having given you the keys to this room. Is this not why? Is this not the reason why you've been carrying your key around as if this your room is the gate of heaven? Don't just try to change the subject with me. So you've been having an affair behind me? But Chendo, you have to tell me who the woman is right now or else... Or else what? Oh, my dear. Stop shouting. Shouting? Did you say shouting? You shameless thing. I can hide them. I am pregnant. Ah. So you think you can hide it forever? Just wait. Just wait and see. You shameless man. And where do you think you're going? I said wait!
standing there looking at me and say, who owns this? It's not, it's not me, your highness. It's not for you? Yes, your highness. Are you sure? Yes, sir. This is not for you? Yes, your you, highness. You, you, What have you done? And what have I done? I'm not disappointed. I'm lying. Ah, come on, princess. I don't understand. Why are you talking like this? We have a situation on our hand. There are people out there waiting and tailing you. I mean, this is not the right time to talk about SEX. Thank you very much, Gerald. I am leaving. Oh, come on, baby. I can't let you do that to yourself. I don't want you going out there. It's not safe. They might harm you, okay? Gerald, why don't you go ahead and sleep? Now that I'm aware my father has a link with those togs, Trust me, I will deal with it. Look, I know you can deal with the situation, but I would rather you spend the night here. I don't want anything happening to you out there. Believe me. Gerald, I've been with you for hours and you did nothing. You are not behaving like the man I want you to be. Listen, sleeping here will compound my frustrations and honestly, I don't want to get frustrated, okay? I would rather leave. Thank you. Princess? This girl needs medical attention. If she doesn't get it, she may die. And if she dies, then it will be on your head. Nobody is leaving this house. If she must die, let her die. So you want her to die? Of course. Yes. What's going on here? My goodness. Is she dead? What, what happened? Father, this lousy girl I picked from the gutters has been sleeping with your father. Oh, you're what? talking absolute rubbish. No way now! You come and give me a hand. Let's, 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 Is this what that happened? What was that? No, 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 not even with um good Shut up. Anyway, I live to tell the story. But okay, I'm done. And I want you to assure me that she will be alright. Just bring her down, see she's speaking. Once the FX are up, she'll be back on her feet. Please, please. I want her to be back on her feet as soon as possible. Eh? And I want to assure you that money is not going to be the problem. Of course, sir. The doctor knows that. That's why she's been given 100% attention. Very well. Can I see the doctor then? Yes, sir. Yes. Um, his office is by the right, the last door by your right, sir. By the right, last door. Yes, sir. Okay. This is the 
the greatest tragedy I've ever seen. I've ever heard of. Igbo Chendo contributed immensely to his problem. I have always warned him to beef up security around himself. But instead of heeding to my advice, he went on retiring those he had without any replacement. It's unfortunate. Whatever you people say, the assassins are devils. They should have respected his status as the Igwe, the custodian of the staff of authority of this kingdom. You people are not saying anything about the princess they almost raped to death. We are not talking about our law. They shot. Even the prince they kidnapped. Uh, what about the housemaid whom they struck into coma? Yes, yes, if I may ask. Where was the male servant when all these things were happening? Thank you, Augustine. Gerard. He should be arrested as a prime suspect. Where was he when all these things were happening? Uh, the police might have arrived at the same conclusions. Uh, my Jamaica, you have come at the right time. Any news yet about the priest? And what about our Lolo? Uh, in fact, I am here to inform us that the leader of the gang that attacked and murdered our Igwe has been arrested. Very, mm. very nice. Though his yeah. other two colleagues died during a gun battle with the police. Mm. Better. Better. Uh, Prince Morgan, on his own side, has been rescued. He was locked up in the boot of the car the gangs were using. Ah, Prince Morgan rescued? Oh, that's very sweet and quick of the police. But uh, where is he now? Uh, he's back to the palace. Mr. Jeffrey and Mas Michael, how about our law? Um, the law law has been taken to the hospital. The doctor that is handling her case confided in me that the bullet affected her badly. And uh, from the look of things, I'm afraid if she can survive. We have been speculating that the Igwe's male servant has a hand in this. Yet nobody has said anything about him. I think that's the easiest guess. Especially given the way he was sent out of the palace a few months ago. Oh, he was sent out. I never heard that before. Uh, Bobo Masijo, hmm? did you ever hear about it? I heard it, but uh, that still makes him the prime suspect. Boy, uh, my friends. Um, the chair, we can't sit down here to judge anybody. More especially when the police has given us their word that they will get to the root of this matter. The officer that is handling the case has informed me that our late Igwes attorney was also murdered yesterday. And he believes that the two cases must have a very strong connection. And, and, and that every inhabitant of the royal house is a prime suspect, unless otherwise proven. Uh. Gerald, I've been with you for hours and you did nothing. You are not behaving like the man I want you to be. Listen, sleeping here will compound my frustrations and honestly, I don't want to get frustrated, okay? I would rather leave. Why am I playing the fool? She is beautiful. And she wants me. She wants me to be a man. Why am I not doing what I should do?
you see princess the greatest disservice you can do to yourself is to break down put whatever thing that happened to you behind and think of the future I want you to see it as one of those bad pages in vicissitude of life and rekindle the zeal to move forward. I'm not talking about myself. I'm fine. But why? How can this happen to us? Why make us offense in just days? Why didn't God save my mother from the bullet wound? Why? You talk as if God is just out there, a mere mortal being with a kind of reflexes that feels and senses the way you and I will. I mean, dry your tears, my daughter. Dry your tears. Oh, uh, Prince Morgan, I'm being particular about you now. Remember, you need all the energy you can muster to enable you move forward. By the way, the leader of the gang that murdered the king and the queen has been arrested. What? The bastard has been arrested? Yes. What? Oh, God. God, I... I just can't wait to lay my hands on that, that murderer and just castrate him. Where is he now? Of course, in police custody. Now, uh, one thing I want you to understand, Prince Morgan, is that we are mere civilians. There's very little or nothing we can do in a time like this. He's up against the law. And now he has made useful confessions. So, all I want us to do now is to pull ourselves together and move forward. The Latin man says, Dom spirus pero, when there is life, there is hope. We all are here to listen to the confession of this criminal. I know that many of us here are very, very angry. We pay attention to what he has to say. Why are you looking at me as if you don't trust me? Why? I'm a Lasiata. A criminal. An acclaimed pervert. I don't believe in trust. One bit. Anyway, I invited you here because I had you had a business for me. So let's go down to the business. I am sure you know King Ochendo. He is my husband, and I want him assassinated. I know him. So, how much will you pay the boys? I think I'm beginning to like the way you talk. You see, the boys are engaged in something I cannot do. So I am ready to pay them anything. I want a perfect job. I also want the boys to assassinate his lawyer. I will give you the address. But I want the boys to go down to business immediately. Do you understand me? <laughs> immediately. Your bill is two million naira. If you can pay, just Give me their location and consider them dead. I mean, dead. 
I like your zeal. Two million naira, you said? Two million naira only. Mm. Okay. My, you have two million half. Take it off yourself. But I want them dead. You can have this. In here, you will have the address of both of them. I'll personally make sure that my husband will be at home at the night of execution. But do me a favor. After his assassination, shoot me on my arm to silence the suspicions. Do you understand me? Brilliant. Very brilliant. Just relax. The job will be done. It's me, Alas. I give you my word. I don't fail. One more thing, my dear. I have a daughter named Adeze. She has grown to challenge my powers. And uh, I think that she's biting more than she can chew. I would like the boys to rape her thoroughly. Do you understand me? I mean thoroughly. And I would like the boys to demobilize my son. I am beginning to see that we will have a lot of business to run. Let's start with this. I'm not holding brief for anybody. I am just speaking my mind. I think I believe this young man. And as such, we must all rise in unison and condemn the late queen. Her Royal Majesty, Queen Caroline of Ubuntu. She hired us for the operation, and what we did was exactly what she told us to do. I'm sorry, Inspector. We need to investigate this matter further. I'm still to be convinced that it was Lola that hired me, and they still went ahead. I shot her to death. Do you have any explanation to that? She was the one that told us to shoot her in the arm, so to silence her suspicion. It's so unfortunate that she couldn't survive the bullet wounds. You, you killed my father, and you defiled me. You will spend the rest of your miserable life in jail. All of it. You are up. Against the law, and I shall expose you to the full rot of the law. Come on, it's all right, my daughter. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Mm. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> huh? It's okay. You know you can't sit like that because of my baby. Huh? <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, come on, tell me. Tell me what's wrong? Look at me, look at me. My queen. What? What is in you? What's wrong? Your sister just left the house. Okay. She came to the house with some people who were taking stock of everything your father left behind. Even an illiterate knows that that is a claim to true ownership of property. Oh, wait, wait. What are, you, what are you actually telling me? What I'm saying is that, wake up! 
wake up before she sells off everything your father left behind. I'm sure you don't even know the rest of your father's investment, do you? Oh, so she's in charge of that too? Of course she is. You see? You see? <laughs> act fast, act fast before she sells off your birthright. If not, this child that I'm carrying here will never be proud of you. You have any idea where they went to? How would I know? I should have taken them somewhere to entertain because they did not eat here. people you brought to the house to take stock of things. Oh, that. Estate managers and valuers. And for what reason in God's name would you do something like that without consulting me first? Huh? It's okay. All right. I'm sorry. Oh, shut up! What is wrong with you? I'm asking you. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Yes. Huh? What is wrong with me? You want to know? Yes. Huh? All right, fine. I'll tell you. I demand a handover of all the documents concerning our father's properties in your possession right now. As who? As the first male child of this household. I demand it now! Are you out of your mind? Have you suddenly gone crazy? Are you mad? You dare to talk back at me? You dare? <laughs> Have you suddenly forgotten that I am the first child of this family? And even before father died, he gave me authority to oversee his business. Liar! Bloody liar! So that's exactly why you've been doing this, huh? Because I've been respecting you in this house? That's why you want to insult me and deny me of my inheritance, huh? <laughs> my brother has suddenly gone mad! You have gone crazy! You dare to speak back at me? You dare to point your finger at me, madam? Yes, I am crazy. And I'm going to show you how crazy I am. Hand over those things. Let us! I found no deal with this, right? Get away from me! You have gone mad! <clears throat> um, our honorable police inspector, sir, Igbo Chendo's household, my fellow elders, I greet you all. Thank you. Thank you. We are all here today because of what has been ensuing in this palace since the unfortunate demise of our late Igbo. Ego Chendo one of Omolode. Mr. Police Inspector, we are happy to have you here today representing the law in our decision over this twisted matter. Thank you, sir. Now, having said that, let us go to the main issue of the day. Prince Morgan here is right in demanding for the control of his father's property just as modern law will uphold the demand of the princess as the rightful controller of their late father's property but none of them is right when it comes to their status in this palace yes Marzi Michael what are you talking about? I demand an unwatered-down apology for that brazen statement you just made. Listen to me, Mazi. That you are my father's best friend does not give you the right to come here and say things that are out of context. Children, take it easy. Mazi Micah's word here cannot be final and may not influence our judgment, our decision. So I advise that you Take it easy, calm down, and allow him finish before you respond or react. Uh, my fellow elders, I hope I'm not speaking out of context. <laughs> Thank you. Where's the mic? You may now continue. Thank you very much, Ichi Anochi. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying before I was rudely and desperately interrupted, Princess, contrary to what you told us earlier, you are not the first child of Lady Bochendo. What? Yes. And for you, Morgan, you are not the first son of Lady Bochendo either. You must be mad. Thank Masi. you very much. You are insane. Thank you, my son. I mean, how can you come here and just, just run your mouth anyhow? Huh? Listen to me, I will not respect an elder who does not respect himself. Please, Prince Morgan, watch your mouth. Master Micah here has just made a statement and it is left for us to demand of him further uh, clarifications rather than hurling words at people old enough to father you. God forbid, this man cannot be our father. And I never said so. Micah, now, you just say that the prince is not the first son of the king. That's what I said. Neither is the princess the first child of a lady girl. Mm. Now tell us, who is the first child and son of a great child? Good. Only one person is both the first child and the first son of Lady Gwachendo. One person who is the my no. Alright, let me go. <laughs> Just calm down. Let's wait and see. Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the first child and the first son of Lady Gochendo I of Umulode, Prince Gerald Ochendo. Look at him. Gerald? What I am holding here in my hand is a diary belonging to Lady Gochendo. Inside it you shall read, after ascertaining the authenticity, that Gerard here is both the first child and the first son of Lady Gochendo I of Umulode. I will want it passed around amongst the children of uh, Lady Gochendo with a view to ascertaining the authenticity of their father's handwriting. Please, Inspector, after that, you will read out for us the entries beginning from the 12th day of May, 1971. Okay, sir. Princess. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again. You know, from the way you people nodded at the sight of the handwriting in this diary, I have no doubt about its authenticity. Therefore, I should uh, proceed to read the contents therein. Please do. On the 12th day of uh, May 1971, I arrived at chambers of barrister Magnus Chukwani to see Caroline, my true love. Love is strong. Love is deep. 
and love is bigger than mortals. Liz is surely far older than Caroline. She's equally more beautiful than Caroline. But Caroline, my love, is the bomb. I lied to her that Liz is my auntie. And without any questions, she believed me. Caroline is the woman of my life. And that is why she is committed to my future. Because you always know what I want at any point in time. You can say that. Again. I believe you and I trust you. My uncle called him earlier. He said he will soon be in chambers. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no problem about that. Don't worry, I will leave before he comes, okay? So, how about your lousy, stupid auntie? <laughs> auntie Liz is there. But I'm not here to talk about Auntie Liz. I'm here to talk about us. You see, I have taken a position based on what we discussed the other day. Now we can go ahead. Oh, this is what I wanted to hear. <laughs> see it now. Oh, I'm so happy. You know what? Come this Saturday, you will come with me. Yes. And you will perfect all our plans. Oh, really? You know, I love you oh, so much. I love you so much. <laughs> Oh no, hear that, I'm okay. At least you are going to my plant, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know I told you earlier that my uncle was No, don't, here. don't worry. Let me finish my drink before I go. <laughs> hmm? Just hurry Take it easy up. with me, are you driving me? I returned back to Elizabeth's apartment after my meeting with Caroline and she continued with her pressure. She wanted me to wed her, by all means. <laughs> writing my days in secondary school to be successful in life. And thank God I did not disappoint myself. Whatever I have today, whatever I've been able to achieve, is as a result of my hard work. Listen this. We may not progress much if we continue like this. I know your words, and that is why I love you so much. You do not love me. I'm sorry, Ajay, I don't believe you. You do not love me. Deep down in your heart, you know that. You doubt my love? Why would you say this, Liz? We have a son already. Why are you still sounding like this? Thank God you know we have a son together. And that is why I plead with you every day to marry me officially and make him a legitimate child. If you do not marry me officially, he still remains an illegitimate child to the public. Please, if not for anything, for the sake of our son, I beg of you. Please, listen. I love you and I love my son. I love you. Why are you talking like this? You do not love me. You do not love me. You only love my mom. And as a woman that has given you her all, a woman that has shown you love, you do not reciprocate my love for you. It pains me to the heart. It makes me weep every day. I still beg of you to have a change of mind. Liz, you are sounding so desperate. You, you Look, you promise never to sound desperate again. Why are you sounding so desperate like this? And you promise to wed me as soon as our son is born. Our child is over a year now and you are yet to keep to your promise. Please, Uche, I beg of you, if for nothing, for the sake of our son, I promise to make you happy. I promise to give you all you want. I promise to be the best woman that any man could have as a wife. Please have a change of heart. I beg of you.
I truly felt sorry for Elizabeth. She loved me immensely. I felt that she was older than me, and I settled for Caroline. Caroline led me into a lot of evil practices. For this date, I want us to enter an oath of secrecy. Oath of secrecy? What do you mean by oath of secrecy? You know, I planned the death of my uncle, Barrister Magnus, and you poisoned your auntie Liz. So I want you to swear before this date that what happened between us shall remain with us. Is that a problem? No, no, no. You don't have problem now. Come on, I promise. I will not discuss what happened with anybody. Believe me now. Huh? Believe me. You know you have promised to marry me. Yes. That's why I went all the way out to make you rich. So I want you to swear before this deity that you will not renege. Swear that both of us will be husband and wife until death do us part. But how can you do all this without the chief priest? Of the deity. Please, Ochendo. Ah, forget about the priests. See, I know this deity very well. Eh? I know this place very well. I know they are hearing us. Eh? Just touch that machete and swear that you will marry me and we'll go back to the city and plan our marriage. Eh? Just touch, see that one. Just touch that one, that machete there. So just, eh, hey, just put your hand there, that one. Not this one. Just this one. So if I touch it, I hope nothing will happen to me, shall Just swear that you marry me, that's all. Wow. Okay, okay. So let me say it now. Uh, eh? Okay. I swear I will not leave you. Okay? I will marry you and remain your husband all the days of my life. Till death do us part. I shall remain your wife. Oh, I'm so happy. Come here. I was with my son Gerald, but because of the lies I told Caroline, I never related with him like my son. Caroline even suspected once a while if Elizabeth was really my auntie, as I claimed, or my lover. I therefore chose to treat Gerald more harshly, even to the extent of degrading him to the status of a servant in my own house. I never discussed about his mother with him because of the strange guilt I always felt. As this is going to be my last entry on this issue, I appeal to my son the first seed of my manhood, who I named Gerald after my loved late brother. If he ever reads the content as contained in this diary, never to hate me as I pretended to hate him. Gerald is my son and I love him very much. Mm -hmm. ah. Igwo Chendu. Igwo Chendu. Um, Mazi Maika, where did you say you got that uh, diary? I found it amongst the documents inside the portfolio he gave me to keep for him. And when did you find out that Jared is the first child and first son? Oh, a week after Chendu's demise. A day before I discovered this, Ochendo called and told me that he would want to check a document inside that portfolio. Strangely enough, he changed his mind and asked me to do that for him. The document he was looking for was stock papers. While I was looking for it, I found this diary. After reading it, I decided to look for Gerald. 
But even then, Ochendo called back and told me that he was suspecting that his daughter was being uh, blackmailed and that I should help him trail her to see who she was running out to see those days. All right. I set out my boys to trail her. After that, I found out that she was running out to see Gerald, who happened to be someone I was looking out for. That was how I found out about Gerald. Blood, brother. You know what they say about blood being thicker than water? Apparently, we have the same blood flowing through our veins. Gerald. <clears throat> oh, my son, Prince Morgan. On behalf of my fellow elders and the king makers of this land, I ask you to welcome your brother and accept him with all your heart. I also ask you to give him all the respect and the honor due to him by Handing him the power and authority that rightfully belong to him. That is what we want you to do, my prince. Yes, my My friend Ibu Chendo, he will be a happy person wherever he is from today onward. I am a very fulfilled person. Yes. That's all. And we are grateful to you. <laughs> <laughs>